Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So it has been some time since my last video and during this time I am continuously working on improving the project and also I got a lot of suggestions from YouTube and also my website and I really appreciate that. So I adopt some of the idea, for example now um, I made this PCB and then I place in the in the center of the board and then make it basically um, like shortest path to all the um, different positions and then in th this video I'm uh, mainly uh, gonna show the uh, placement performance of the O201 component and also um, O402 so actually I got a question on the uh, YouTube and say um, maybe I can place some uh, PCBs and then I think that's a, a very good idea so and I also try I, I haven't tried to um, place on different angle on O201 before um, therefore I try to um, see if that's uh, how, how was the performance on that and I actually make a PCB here and you can see there are three rings in the innermost one um, you can see here in the innermost is the O201 component and then a little bit outside is O402 and then O603 um, currently I only have um, So currently I only have uh, 0402 and 0201 components um, so I'm gonna try to place um, the components onto here so each component each has a 12 components on the uh, equal angle so equally spaced angle um, so yeah that's that's what, what I'm gonna show today and also um, you see here at the back this there were there are um, a lot of um, nozzle tips basically i redesigned it, this uh, nozzle tip change station uh, before when you apply force so if this is a little bit tight depending on different printer then it will um, tilt a little bit which makes it um, uh, not that easy to put in the nozzle tips and now i made the um, improvement so it's very solid now it's 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 hard to tilt I will share a uh, detail on another video for this one and also um, as you can see here on the nozzle head I also made some improvement um, basically the the temperature performance so um, this one need to withstand a higher temperature because for Ender 3 uh, by default they come with a very high um, stepper motor current um, which makes the motor pretty high, uh, pretty temperature pretty high for all the motors. Um, so I also improved that to make it possible to stand higher temperature. Um, I think this is also quite um, important ones. Yeah, so um, that's basically what I do. So without further ado, I will just um, ask it to um, start placing the components. Okay, so now I will go ahead and start the placement job. Um, I already prepared two feeders. One is O201 and this one is O402. So I will home the device first. So basically every job I will do the homing uh, first because um, when you left the device idle for a while, the stepper motor will be unlocked. Therefore the position might change a little bit. So it would be um, a good idea to re-homing uh, and homing and then that it will calibrate the home fiducia so that the position positioning will be more accurate okay so now the calibration is done uh, the next thing is to calibrate the ball position so I will go ahead and start it. So there are four uh, fiducia on this board. Um, it will look into the fiducia and then do the calibration. After that, it will center it on the board, which uh, which is good. And then I need to calibrate the nozzle tip, and then I will start the job placement.
Okay, so calibration is done. Now I will start the job. So we start picking up the components and then um, do the placement now. One interesting thing is that it's um, always uh, having this uh, key pressing. Um, I guess this is uh, some firmware pr problem. It thinks that it, um, it is um, pressing some key. Um, I haven't looked into that yet, but I don't think that will affect the placement. So currently, um, I didn't really let it place uh, fast speed. I still need to um, test and see how fast it can actually go. Um, so far, I used it for um, like a personal um, hobby device placement, so that suits my need pretty well. Maybe the small batch is also good. Uh, for the bigger batch, I think the speed will be a bit too low. But maybe I can have a look, I can test and see how fast it can be. Because this one comes with the silent uh, model driver, so in theory it should be able to move a bit faster. So we will review the result after the placement job is done. I actually have uh, placed like uh, 12 uh, components, each is uh, 30 degrees away, so that um, this can actually um, figure out how well is the, the placement, also the angle, angle uh, accuracy. Okay, now we place all the uh, 0201. Now it's going for the 0402 components.
actually they go up and down speed can be a bit faster and that could be customized in the start command Okay, so the placement job is done. Um, we can have a look on the result here. So you can see in the in the ring is the 0201 component, and then the outer one is the 0402. Um, as I can see from here, it looks pretty good. You see those um, those 0201 components. They are actually nicely in place, also with a uh, uh, very good angle. And then for the 0402 here, um, it's also pretty good. Right. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with the result and I haven't got the 0603 uh, components so I, I still need to get those ones and do the test but yeah, that's a pretty good result I'm, I'm pretty happy actually Yeah, so um, if you have any question, just uh, feel free to uh, leave in the comment or also you can visit my uh, website and also leave comment there. And I will make some new more videos introducing the improvement I have done on the nozzle change, nozzle tip change station, which is very good now. Um, I think it's pretty stable. And also for the nozzle head, I will um, also make a video for that. Right, okay, so um, thanks very much uh, for watching the video and if you like my video, please just like and subscribe to support me and then uh, see you in next videos.